Hello all, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg and get ready for a rant. <laughs> I'm on fire tonight. I've been yelling at myself in the mirror for the last 10 minutes prepping for this video. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Alright, I'm just going to do a quick head shave, probably three passes, but I'm using a leaf. It's got a second use sharp blade in there. Sharp, not sharp, sharp as in careful that razor blade is sharp. You'll cut yourself. I'm going to use the Magno shave cream. I don't remember the scents on it. The box is all, I think, in freaking Italian. I can't read crap on it. So, Portugal. Excuse me. It's all in Portuguese. So, I'll put the scent notes, what little it has, in the description box, okay? And for an aftershave, I'm going back to my good old-fashioned Cannonball Express from Avon with the wild can you read that wild country yeah wild country I knew it was all right a brush I'm gonna try and mix this in the bowl and see what happens I'm gonna use the t3 30 millimeter t3 uh, stick it back in the cup suck up some more water I'm going to try and bowl that uh, just in my cereal bowl I painted red and it's all scratched up. I'm not repainting it. I'm thinking about taking the paint off of it, but if I use any kind of paint thinner on it, it's going to melt the bowl. So might have to sand it off. I don't know. Anyways, I got, I got enough bowl. I did this back when I didn't have that many bowls. All right, I got that much in there. Let's see what we do. come along pretty good all right my last two videos you know what they're about especially the last one I appreciate your support on that guys I really do I thought for sure I was gonna catch a lot of shit and you know what I'm surprised I have I'm not I shouldn't be surprised I haven't caught shit you know why because the people most of the people that have done that don't watch my channel they're too big for me like I said before, they, they get, they forget where they came from. They forget that they were this small at one time. They don't watch anybody else's videos. They barely reply to comments. And just, oh, whatever. But, one of my followers here said it in the, in the comments of the last video. I can't remember his name. Damn it. I'm brain dead. I always have been, always will be, so get used to it. Um, said that some of the channels he checked are buying thousands, like 4,000 subscribers a month they're buying. Guys, I've always said this, and you know I've always said this if you follow my channel. If you want to find the truth, follow the money. This is about money. The more followers you have, the, the bigger your, fo your follower count, the more money you collect from YouTube, and it's free money. Uh, you got to do, we got to do videos. Some people don't have to do anything. They just start a channel, maybe post one video, and then go to work buying subs and increase that until they start collecting money. Like uh, Greg from the Tunnel Take, he's one of my followers. I follow his channel too. He's a pipe smoking channel. Um, he talks about life and other things too, but anyways... He posted a link to a channel. Now, J Mac and I were talking about this. That YouTube doesn't like people buying subs. That used to be the case. It isn't anymore. And I'll say this because in the in the comments of the last channel, Greg posted a link to a channel where the guy starts three he starts three different channels. One's called Cheap Subs. One's called regular subs, and the other one's called, I think, American subs. Like, there's three different classes of subscribers he could buy off this website. And one was just cheap, bottom line, 78 cents for a thousand or some shit like that. Real cheap. And that's all, it was just numbers. And the, and the other one was like regular subs where there were actually real people or some, or real accounts or something. And then the American subs were just ones that were all based in America. So, 
he bought 10,000 subs for his cheap subs channel. Got him all overnight. He started the channel one afternoon, got up the next morning, and all 10,000 had subscribed to his channel overnight. Now, back to what I was saying about YouTube. Didn't used to like people buying subscribers. You, you could lose your channel. It used to be that way. It isn't anymore. Because here's a guy posting on YouTube how to screw YouTube by buying subscribers. Now, he didn't do it that way. He said to promote your product so your, your, your channel gets in front of more eyes. It gets put in more people's feed so they'll see your product and buy your product. That's how he worded it. But ultimately, with 10,000 subscribers, you're going to collect money after you get 4,000 watch hours. You're going to collect money from YouTube, ultimately. So all he has to do is go buy 4,000 watch hours and he's collecting money for that channel. But nothing happened. They didn't pull the channel. They didn't do anything. So that's why I say YouTube doesn't care anymore. So I'm advising you guys, if you want to make money off of YouTube, go buy your 1,000 subscribers. Get yourself to 1,000. Buy your 4,000 views. You'll never have to post another video again. And whatever you rake in every month, $17, $24, whatever the hell it is that they give you for 1,000 and 4,000 watch, collect it. Walk away. Get your money back on what you paid for. And then just start making pocket money the rest of the rest of the time seriously some of these guys that's what they're doing there's one guy you all know who he is he's got 81,000 subscribers largest shaving channel on YouTube are there 81,000 people searching wet shaving on YouTube are there that's a full American football stadium full of people are there that many people searching wet shaving on YouTube? When I started following him, didn't think much of it. He had like 65,000 subs. And I was like, okay, that's a lot of subs. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even question it back then. I was like, okay. He wasn't really one of my favorite channels, but he comes up with decent information every once in a while. And I, I followed him. Four or five months ago. Since then, he's gone from 65,000 to 81,000 in four months. He's he's buying over 600 subs a month at times. Some months it's 600, some months it's 1,000. But he's buying subs. Are there 81,000 people following wet shaving on YouTube? I somehow doubt that. I don't think the number's that high. We got a good lather going, though. So, go buy your subs. Get yourself to 1,000. Buy your 4,000 watch hours. Start raking in the cash. What the hell? It's all, a, it's all a game anyways. YouTube does not care anymore. They let a guy show you how to screw them on their own channel, on their own platform. What does it matter? There's no sense of getting upset about it anymore. Oh, they lied to me. They bought subs. So what? Everybody's freaking doing it. Check any channel out there. Only the small channels like mine and a couple other people around my side are not the ones doing it. Everybody else, well, almost everybody, there's there is a couple people that are over a thousand that haven't done it. But most everybody else is doing it. I know one guy, I follow him, I love his content. I'm not going to follow him anymore. Because he's doing it. I showed you um, his, um, I showed you the the. the the copy and paste I did of his channel the other day. He was the one that had like 11, 16, 8, 10, 10. He's the one that had the 10, 10. And then like 6, 8, 11, 13. I figured out he's buying because those that were 11, 16, 13, those were 3, 6, 1. And then add the 10s onto it that he paid for. And he boosted his numbers. That's what that was. Now, I understand some of these guys may not be doing it intentionally to trick you or screw you. They're not really trying to trick you or screw you. They're just screwing YouTube. They're playing the game with YouTube. Um, but we based everything in this community on Commodity, 
helping each other, supporting each other, being honest with each other. That's what, and the ones, the ones out there saying, oh, I love this community. We're so helpful. We all love each other. We help each other always. We're so honest with each other. Are the biggest buyers of subs out there. You hear somebody go, oh, I love this community. They're so great. I can't, can't. I, I, there's, I support this community so much. I, I love them so much. Look at their numbers. Type their channel into that website and look at their numbers. They're the biggest buyers. It's like the ones I said the other day where they were bitching because, oh, Henson did, did a bad job promoting this. They did a horrible job promoting this razor. No, they didn't. They know what their market is. Henson's market is getting people into wet shaving that's their market experienced wet shavers are not their market they did the henson plus 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 up my ass plus razor for the experienced shavers to make a little money off them because they wanted it so why not they did it but that was their main market is getting people into wet shaving Oh, that was horrible marketing. They didn't. They didn't promote it. They didn't do anything. Well, they already promoted it because you wanted it. They made it, so you they know you're going to buy it. What do they have to spend money on advertising for? You were just pissed off because you didn't get a free one to test. That's all. So go get your thousand subs, get your four thousand watch hours, and get free shit. Do it. They're doing it. Why should they be the only ones getting free shit all the time? Yes, I told you it was a rant, and I'm fired up. So if you're sticking around, that's on you. It's on you, baby. Go get your free shit. Buy the subs. Crank yourself up to 1,000. Crank yourself up to 81,000. What the hell? Everybody else is freaking doing it. Some of the biggest names in, in these channels is there, there's this one guy out in California, real popular. Everybody loves him. Look at his numbers. 10, 10, 100. Yeah. Yeah. And I realize why some of these guys do it, and he might be one of them. You get stagnant. Your channel just stops growing. There's only so many people watching shaving videos on YouTube. Seriously. It's a small community. We think we're big, but we're small. We're our small community. So once you max out that you're not going to grow anymore, you've got to do something to continue make your channel grow some more. So out comes the credit card. Now, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy the interaction that we have because you guys comment and I comment back and we have little chats in the, in the comment section. I like that. But you other guys out there, you smaller channels watching me, go ahead, do it. Everybody else is. Why should you get screwed in the process? Why should you play fair? What happens? Nice guys finish where? Where do nice guys finish? Yeah, exactly. Go get your subs and get your views and collect your money. Do it. Stop buying gear. Don't buy any gear. Get your sub count up so that the artisans start sending you shit for free. So you don't have to buy it anymore. Might as well play the same game all these other idiots are. Why not? Why should you be left in the dust? Go do it. I know. Your integrity and everything... There's no integrity on YouTube. I'm sorry, there's not. If the channel itself, the platform itself, will allow a guy to post a video on how to screw the platform over, the platform has no integrity. I hope, I pray, that YouTube soon crashes and burns. Just wipe the hell out. Zero profit, zero ads, zero viewership. Gone. That would, I'd love that. I tell Google, there you go, baby. That's what you deserve. Because you took a platform and you completely ruined it. You let everybody and anybody in here to screw you over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least got a reach around. Or dinner and a movie first, whatever.
It's horseshit. 100%. You guys that have reached a thousand but don't have four thousand watch hours to to make profit to collect money, don't buy gear. Pay for your four thousand watch hours. Get those. Start collecting your money. You put the time and effort in to do a thousand subscribers the correct way. But YouTube is the one that started off with a thousand thousand, then they went to a thousand subs, two thousand watch hours. Then 3,000 watch hours, now 4,000. The next step will be 5,000. You'll never catch up. Never. Go do it now while it's still within reach at 4,000. Get your hours. Collect your money. At least until you get your money back. I mean, you'll always collect. As long as your channel's up, you'll collect. But go do it. Seriously. Don't, don't go my integrity, my honor. Think about your pocket. All the hours you put in to put up content that people enjoyed enough to sign up. You got a thousand people or more to sign up on your channel based on your content, not on your credit card. Congratulations. You are a stud, my friend. I, I appreciate that. I, I can look up to you. You did it the right way. Love you. All right? Now, screw YouTube. Go get your 4,000 watch hours. Pay for it. They're not that expensive. Go buy them. Start collecting your money. Do it. Seriously. I know people are still going to say, my integrity, my honor. Seriously, guys. Screw it. YouTube is about making money. Go make your money. Do it. Everybody else is. It's like the guy I told you, you said that people are buying 4,000 subs a month. 4,000 subs, you, you collect what, $32, $36 a month or something like that? Maybe maybe 80 I don't know what the hell it is. I never looked it up really. And they're doing it every month? That's 40,000 in 10 months' time. That's 48,000 subs a year. How much money are they making off of that? As soon as you could start making money off of YouTube, this shit popped up. I can guarantee you. As soon as people started making money on YouTube, the being able to buy subscribers shit popped up. Because where there's a way to make money, there's a scammer. There's somebody trying to scam the system. Always. And if you don't believe me, Hello, your extended warranty is about ready to expire on your car. Okay? Go do it. Like I said, nice guys finish last. Don't be a nice guy. Go make your money. If you want to stop after you get your 4000 fine, do it. Stop. Go get your money, though. Don't get left out in the cold before they change it to 5,000 watch hours because too many people are making money. Because that's the reason they kept upping it is people were making too much money. So they kept increasing the watch hours before people could collect because they were losing too much money. Well, guess what? They're big enough now. They're making enough money on their ads. Go get your money. Pay for your watch hours. Do it. S stop being nice. I forgot to do this around my ears. Yes, I'm pissed. But I'm also right. Why should we sit out here and play the game the right way and get screwed because nobody else wants to? So we can finish last? So we can sit here and say, I got my pride. I did it on my own. And how long did it take you? There's guys out here that... that haven't hit 700 subs and they've had a channel for three years yet somebody that started his channel um, earlier this year has already got 1900 subscribers and like I said he started with 345 to 350 in August when I signed on with him 
and now he's at 1900 screw that guy I don't care if he is part of the bald-headed brotherhood. Screw him. Him and his seven damn razors. And basically doesn't know what the hell he's talking about a lot of times, but we won't go there. Um, that's not what I'm bitching about. Everybody's got their own opinion on everything. But he's playing the game. He is absolutely 100% playing the YouTube game. He figured out when he hit 350, 345, that this wasn't going fast enough. And he was getting left behind. So he went and bought his subs. And he's still buying subs. He's buying subs at the tune of about three to 400 a month. Go get your money, guys. If you're already over a thousand, but you don't have four thousand watch hours, go buy your watch hours. Go, go buy them. Collect your money. Seriously, don't buy any more gear. Go, bu go buy your watch hours. Collect your money. You still have my respect because you got your your thousand on your own. You did it through your own labors, through putting out good content. And most people are too lazy to sit down and watch a full video anyways. You'll get 5 to 10 minutes out of a person usually and that's it. That's usually all a YouTuber gets is 5 to 10 minutes. So they'll skip through the videos, they'll skip over the videos, they'll watch the very beginning and they'll skip to the end. Whatever. Speaking of the end, go to my last head shave on Wednesday and uh, watch the end of that video because there's something there that might surprise you. That you'll want to see. Catch the last five minutes or so. But anyways. Go do it guys. Go get your watch hours. I know there's a couple channels. The guys are at like 750, 800 subscribers. Go spend 20 bucks. If it's even that. I think it's even cheaper than that. Get your last 200. Get your 1,000. Buy your watch hours. Get your money. Screw YouTube. Screw everybody. Everybody's doing it. I haven't... There's very few channels I've checked. And I check stuff that's outside of shaving. There's very few channels I have checked. Very, very few. That aren't buying. In one form or another. Seriously. It's... It's rampant. This this shouldn't be YouTube. It should be buy subscriber YouTube. Or YouTube. Buy subscriber tube. It's freaking rampant. Go buy your subs. Go get your 4,000 watch hours. Get your money. Screw YouTube. The people that like your content will still follow you. All those big channels, all of them, over like 10,000 subs, I dumped them all today. I dumped every one of them, including the guy that has 81,000. I dumped him too. I dumped them all. I don't want to see them anymore. Now that I know that, and, and I, like I said before, most of them have probably done that because they plateaued. They're done. They're out of wet shavers to get to subscribe. Everybody talks about these top five or six guys that I dumped today. Everybody talks about them. So there's no reason that any wet shaver in the world doesn't know about them. That can't subscri subscribe to them. Yet, there's one of them. Every month, 100 subs, even. Every month, 100 subs, even. 100 subs, 100 subs, 100 subs. And it, he gets all 100 one day a month. He gets, boom, 100 subs dumped onto his account. Once, one day a month, gets 100. He 
and he sings New York, New York. Anyways, through here. Still haven't mentioned a name, have I? <laughs> I've given some hints, but that's about it. Pressing a little harder around the pickup, but I can't. I got a sore spot right there from when I tore my freaking head up with that razor the last week. What the hell razor was that? I forget. You tell me, what did I use that I tore my head up with? I forget. Oh, it was the West Coast shaving. The 110B. Jesus. I don't even know if it was just too much. But I think it was just too aggressive. And I was yakking and not paying attention to what I was doing. But look at my freaking poor head. I look like a pit bull's been using my head for a chew toy. Alright. That should be good. That's pretty good. That I got a little bit right here, but that's going to go away when my skin relaxes and calms down and hairs dehydrate and everything retracts to normal. Everything's fine. I feel better. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> but I am serious. Go get your money. Go. Do it. Screw YouTube. I'm not saying screw your integrity because to me you still have it. You put the effort in. You put the work in. You got your thousand subs the right way. Now go get your money. Pay for the views. Get the views. Go get your money. Alright? Nobody's going to care. Nobody, nobody will care. They watch all these big channels, every freaking video they put out, and these guys are buying 100 subs a month, 400 subs a month, 600 subs a month. They don't care about that. Why should they care if you get your, your 4,000 views and collect money? Why should they? Go do it. Go get your money. That's typical with a leap. I don't need the uh, Allen block, which is good because I left it on the shelf. But I knew that with the leap, I wasn't going to need it. Just some witch hazel. Cannonball Express, baby. Choo choo. God. This stuff. The wild Country is like a. It's like canoe and Stetson mix, kind of. It's. I'm actually going to put it more on the canoe side than the Stetson side. I think, what was it? Wild Country, and then there was another one. Um. I can't remember it. It was, uh, it was. It came out before Wild Country. I think that was the one that was a Stetson clone. I'm not sure. Johnson Johnson baby lotion for my dome. Oh damn, that's way too much. What I do with the arms and elbows. All right. Another fat guy ran. You got it. Seriously, go get your money, guys. There's no integrity left on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Go get your money. You did you did it the right way. You got your thousand subs. Now go get your money. All right. Nobody's going to care. They won't. All right. Take care. Love you all. Appreciate the new subs. Thanks for coming in. You got a hell of a video for your first one is being a new subscriber but I appreciate you being here all don't forget the affiliate link when you use that and you buy something at TRC Razor Company I get a kickback goes into account when that account hits $25 I buy a gift card and give it back to you guys I don't ever profit off this channel until I until I buy my thousand subs and my four thousand watch hours and get my money from YouTube ah, not happening anyways <laughs> 
Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the poor uh, channels. I'll link in the description box. Help them boost their numbers so they don't have to buy their subs. All right, guys. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for listening to my rant. Talk to you later. Done with a bad link. Back eye in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there.